country people are dissatisfied with the health services they've got. That they haven't got. Like they were once dissatisfied with kerosene lamps and outdoor plumbing. They want to look after themselves as well as their sick horse. They want a doctor before they want an undertaker. They want to live like other Americans do, without apprehension and fear. They want to live. We must walk before we can run. A beginning step is the formation of a local health council. What we cannot do for ourselves individually, we can sometimes do as a group, as a community. Why don't we have a hospital here? Not every small community can afford a hospital, nor do they always need one. Sometimes what's really needed is only a new road to make the nearest hospital nearer. Health concerns everyone. Everyone should have his say. Can we have some volunteers? How about you? Will you come up? We have modern scientific equipment for breeding our livestock. But what about our best crop? We women are tired of having babies on the kitchen table. Mr. Black, would you come up? Mr. Heinmiller? We had medical care in the service. We got it in the islands and jungles. Places more remote than Alaska. We're still Americans. And I have a wife and children to think of. I say let's do what we have to do to get a hospital here. Hospitals cost money. None of us have too much. We need our money to live on. Hospitals are only places to die in. You type it out. I'm hardly in accord with the Sentinel Express to Mr. Black. Why don't you spend some of your money? You can't it will take cost it. too much money. We have to understand. Americans are always an ingenious people. When put to the test, they invariably come up with an answer. Public health is a group problem that can best be solved on a group basis. By sharing the burden of sickness costs with the community, we can also share in supporting a hospital program. And what is best for the majority is for the majority to decide. Ah, democracy. On to the next town and the next job. Only it's hard to explain what the job is. Back in Minnesota, folks don't always understand what we nurses do and why we do it. Even mom and dad. It's just that nursing brings forth the love and sympathy that warms every woman's heart. Being a nurse is just being a woman. Another rural mother going it alone, unattended, like a hardy pioneer woman, a foolhardy one. Not expecting difficulties, not prepared to meet them. Not one life hanging in the balance, but two. A life in your hands. You fight with all the weapons. You hope with all your heart. 
The mother? Lost. Sometimes you lose against time, against negligence. Sometimes you win in spite of the odds. Alaska is a vital part of America. A land with precious natural resources for the future. Without human resources, there can be no future. It's time we see that health is our greatest wealth. That life is too precious to be wasted. We can look to science for the power to command sickness. We can look to ourselves for a greater power to command help. Will you marry me? I can't. Others have suffered that we may learn that we may build on the stepping stones of experience. When there is the will to help, there is the way. <laughs>